The beast has been defeated, but now there may be another. God help me. I just realized that never is a contraction of not ever. And blush is a contraction of blood rush. And studying is a contraction of student dying. Just saw the words cat boy, cat girl, and nyan binary, and it took several years off my life expectancy. Same. Today I learned only 64 to 77% of people experience a headache at some point in their lives. If you are one of the lucky 23 to 36%, turn on your location so I can bonk you over the head with a table lamp and teach you what it feels like to be mortal like the rest of us. Now this is how we should redefine the term the elite. It really, really should. I didn't think I could actually hate 23% of the population right now, and yet, here I am. Fun things to say when someone tells you they're going to the bathroom. Stay safe. Congratulations. That's what they all say. Different strokes for different folks. I hope you have the time of your life, but you have so much to live for, and please explain. Or sometimes my friend used to say this to me, don't die. Found out my sisters work with someone named Karen. <laughs> She's the manager. Karen has to deal with Karens. Talk about doing it yourself. Karen asked to speak to the manager and you can get what you wanted. So she became the manager. <gasps> the Karens are learning. I can't be trusted with a large stick. You simply aren't strong enough to handle the power of the stick. The power of the stick corrupts my mind with the thoughts of bonk. Today I learned that during the American Civil War, some soldiers' wounds glowed blue. Soldiers whose wounds glowed had a better chance of surviving. And so the glow was called Angel's Glow. Now it is known that the luminescence is due to bacteria that produce antibiotics and live in the nematodes. I love how fantasy world and mythological this sounds. Anytime someone says your writing is unrealistic and full of major plot points you just pulled out of your ass, just remember that in the middle of one of the messiest and most agonizing wars in human history, at one point, all the wounded soldiers just started glowing blue and failed to die. I can't stop thinking about what happens to salmons when they get horny. All right, I'll bite. What happens when they get horny? They literally transform into a new, unbelievably fucked up creature. From this, to this. Show me your feet, you coward. Leak proof. Using seamless hot press technology, this bag is 100% leak proof. Yo, watch me roll up into the picnic with my bag full of whipped fruit. I think this is how they make LaCroix. Today I learned that if wasps decide they don't like you, they drop pheromones on you so that other wasps don't like you either. Call that post. Potion of fuck this guy! Chainsaw on a chain. Well, now I'm just thinking of some huge ass chainsaw, but the chain is actually made of regular sized chainsaws just flailing around and decimating everything inside. Now put that in a large enough chainsaw cannon, and then power the cannon with an even bigger chainsaw! So, a huge chainsaw that uses chainsaws for the chain being used as ammo for an even larger chainsaw cannon powered by an even larger chainsaw saw. And if that doesn't work, more. Movie called Down, sequel to Up. It's three seconds long and it's the balloons breaking and the house falling into the abyss. I yelled no when I saw this. I love when I elicit such strong emotions from people with my posts. Bad post, OP! I recently received one of the most obscure insults. I was at work and one of my residents turned to me and said, You'll never make it in the trucking business. Out of nowhere. It didn't make sense. But he said it with such hatred and pure appearance that I was convinced my non-existent dreams of being a trucker had been crushed. Well, those are some unusual rainbows. Oh, God. The gays are growing stronger by the minute. <laughs> Unlimited power! <laughs>